I decided to do 100 push-ups every day to kickstart my weight loss journey. After 30 days, the results blew away my expectations. It completely transformed my body. I'll give you the full story and how I was able to do it. But first, let me give you some context that's really important to understand all of this. As a health and fitness coach, I've taken the unorthodox approach of telling people not to go to the gym. And this is coming from coaching thousands of people by proxy over the past decade. Because you can really only expect the average person to go to the gym twice a week. But people usually have this all or nothing attitude approach where if they can't make it to the gym for those two days, they get zero exercise altogether because they only associate exercise with going to the gym. And that's a problem. It's a recipe for disaster. As a remedy, I just remove the gym component completely and make it optional. Instead, I ask my coaching clients to anchor these micro workouts at various times throughout the day where they don't even have to think about it. It's so easy, they just do it. It's as automatic as brushing their teeth. I've found that it's a much better approach and the benefits are life changing. Are you gonna set world records for the heaviest lifts or win a bodybuilding competition by taking this unorthodox approach? No, but who cares? Because if you can increase your daily activity without overloading your rate of perceived exertion, you're gonna get amazing results. That's how you achieve a successful weight loss transformation. And that's where doing 100 push-ups every day comes into play. You get access to insane life-changing benefits like improved insulin sensitivity and blood glucose control. It builds and maintains muscle, which is how you get that tight and toned look. It burns extra calories as a byproduct because muscle is a very active tissue to build and maintain. You get stronger bones. It strengthens your heart. It improves immune function. It elevates your mood. It's good for the brain because it spurs the production of BDNF, which is miracle growth for the brain. It helps activate autophagy, which is a cleanse on a cellular level. It also triggers the production of glutathione, which is the body's main antioxidant. It also has anti-aging effects because you're triggering the production of testosterone and growth hormones and so much more. Because the reality is it's infinitely easier to get in the habit of doing 100 push-ups every day rather than finding the time to make it to the gym 5, 6, or 7 days a week. It's just not happening. What's surprising is how effective this approach is. And this is coming from a guy who used to compete in a sport where the goal is to lift as much weight overhead as possible. I'm telling you to just move your own body weight like doing 100 push-ups every day and the results can be just as amazing when it comes to improving your health and achieving your weight loss goals. Because in doing so, you get to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. You get to practice it every day which has tremendous value. In case you didn't know, nothing shuts down your fat burning metabolism faster than prolonged periods where you're completely sedentary. It's completely foreign to the human body to go through extended periods where you're not moving. So the answer is to do these little sets of micro workouts throughout the day. And we'll talk specific strategies in just a second. But this concept of doing bodyweight exercises every day isn't anything new. Herschel Walker, for example, was known for doing a thousand push-ups and a thousand sit-ups every day, even up to this day. He's an absolute unit in his mid-50s. Another great example are blue-collar workers that do manual labor. Pay attention to the forearms of a carpenter. They're massive. Same thing with construction workers, mechanics, and farmers. Side note, that's where the term farmer strength comes from. And I'm not saying they're models of health. Heck, they might even be rocking a dad bod. But look at the body part they specifically use for work every day, which is their forearms. They rival the forearms of a professional bodybuilder. Their daily practice of using their body to move an object obviously has tremendous value to their physique. The key is to not go crazy when you do it. You don't see a carpenter go to failure when they're swinging a hammer. Same goes for mechanics. Or you don't see farmers go to failure when they're throwing hay bales. No, they'll get injured. So when it comes to doing 100 push-ups, the key is to break it down into small manageable sets. For example, if 20 consecutive push-ups is your max where you literally can't do another one even if you tried, that's not what you're gonna do for one set. No. Do 10 push-ups, rest a minute, then do it again and again. Execute that pattern a few times a day. Anchor it with a pre-existing habit like a meal so you don't forget about it. Next thing you know, you're at 100. 
this also opens up your muscle suitcase. Especially if you're having carbs with your meal, that's actually how you earn your carbs. If you can't do a regular push-up, that's okay. Do them off your counter or on your knees and go from there. It should take you seconds to do it if you use the right progression. And that's the key to this. You want your rate of perceived exertion to be half of your max at most. You don't want to be anywhere near close to failure. That way, you're more likely to do it more. Instead of just going to failure at 20, and then you can't do another one even if your life depended on it. That's how you get to 100 push-ups every day easily. But just follow that strategy every single day and you're gonna be shocked how many more push-ups you can do. You're gonna destroy your max set of push-ups in no time. And then watch what happens to your triceps, shoulders, and pecs after just a few months. It's gonna blow your mind. Let's do some simple math because numbers don't lie. If you do 100 push-ups every day for 30 days, that's 3,000 push-ups. Zoom out a little more and that's 36,500 push-ups in one year. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to deduce that if you perform a movement for 36,500 reps, something positive is gonna happen. It's gonna change your life. All the while, you're not even breaking a sweat because you're only going at 50% of your max capacity at any given time. I can't stress enough the importance of associating positive feelings towards exercise. It's really the key to this strategy. I personally think that this daily practice approach is more valuable for the average person rather than trying to go to the gym because you're removing the biggest barrier of entry, which is getting to the gym. Life for some reason always seems to get in the way. However, you can do push-ups anytime and anywhere. You don't even need to warm up for it. And if you're completely brand new, just start with one set or one rep because one is better than none. And when you turn these micro workouts into a habit like brushing your teeth, your life will change in ways you can't even imagine. The carryover benefits when it comes to improving your health, improving your quality of life and longevity are unquantifiable. I've done many consultations over the last couple of years specifically. And by the way, if you want to work with me, you can book a free consultation to join the Fat Lots Accelerator VIP program by clicking the link in the description and comments below. But one of the most common things I hear from people is they've fallen off their exercise routine because their gyms were shut down. I mean, that's exactly what happened to me. And they're constantly blown away when I introduce them to this concept of doing these little micro workouts and treating exercise like a daily practice. Because again, it gets people out of prolonged periods where they're completely sedentary. And in doing so, you get to string a bunch of ones instead of zeros. Think about it this way for practicality. And this is really my biggest selling point. It's a lot easier to fit in five to 10 minutes of exercise in total into your daily schedule rather than trying to find an hour to go to your spin class. Add in the time to drive to the gym, get changed, drive back home, and you're looking more at one and a half hours. Again, the average person is lucky to do that twice a week. But what about the other five days? So instead of trying to move mountains to find time to go to the gym, just do a micro workout wherever you are. It's infinitely easier to integrate into your routine and the cumulative volume is just as effective. In fact, I'd argue that it's even more effective because you're actually gonna do it. This is the secret sauce to exercise to get amazing results without having to go to the gym. I wish somebody would have told me this when I was just starting out. But personally, after 30 days of doing 100 push-ups every day, I was able to successfully get rid of my lockdown weight and then some. I started to fit better in my clothes again. I had more energy. I just felt better about myself. I regained my confidence. I didn't feel ashamed to take my shirt off in public. You can't put a price tag on that feeling. That's why it's not always about the weight you lose, it's about the life you gain. The energy boost and mood elevation you get from doing this can't be overstated. I feel 10 times better afterwards whenever I move my body. Movement is medicine. It's easily the most underrated benefit of doing 100 push-ups every day. I mean, just pay attention to how you feel after just doing a few push-ups. Especially if you're feeling sluggish, you get an instant boost in energy. It's the paradox of exercise. The more you do it, the more energy you have, which then carries over to everything you do afterwards. You're gonna be more productive because you have all this extra energy and you feel amazing. 
I've never met anyone whose life didn't get better because they felt better about themselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you don't want to ignore this one because 80% of your body composition is determined by what you eat. Simply put, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. I'll see you in the next video.